Tansen was born 1506 whose name was then Tanna to acquire more knowledge of music Swami ji sent him to Hazrat Muhammad Qas in Gwalior after acquiring sufficient knowledge of music Tansen again returned to Mathura to Swami Haridas here he learned nad vidya from Swami ji till now Tansen had got amazing success in music influenced by his music Riva King made him the main singer of his court. One day King Akbar got an opportunity to listen to Tansen's music at Riva King's place. He got emotional after listening to Tansen's music. He invited Tansen to his court by re- requesting Riva King impressed by his music tan akbar gave him a place in his navratnas there are many legends about tansen it is said that at the time of his singing the ragas and raginis used to manifest themselves once emperor akbar insisted on singing deepak rag from tansen at the appointed time He started singing Deepak Rag in the court. The singer and the listeners started getting sweaty as the sound started increasing. By the end of the song, the lamps kept in the court lit themselves up. The flames of fire started appearing all around. Tansen remembering his father's last wish. thought of taking education from mohammad ghos before taking education from his new guru tansen went to seek permission from his first guru haridas ji haridas said to tansen you don't need to worry you should respect your father's last wish and take lessons from the new guru remember i am always ready for you you come to me whenever you need You are like my son in this way Haridas left Tansen with his blessings Now Tansen started taking education from Muhammad Ghos for 3 years and started improving his musical talent Muhammad Ghos went to meet them with the raja of Gwalior Now Tansen started visiting Gwalior court One day he met a lady named Husaini. Husaini actually Brahman girl whom Tansen fell in love with. Tansen married her. After a few years Muhammad Ghos died after giving all his wealth in the name of Tansen. Tansen's family settled in the house of Muhammad Ghos and moved on from there. According to Akbarnama Tansen died In 1646 his rites may also have been performed there on the bank of Yamuna later his mausoleum was built near the tomb of Ghost Muhammad as a memorial in his birthplace Gwalior which still exists Tansen was about 83 years old at the time of his death and he was associated in the akbari court for almost 26 years this is tansen and mohammad ghos maqbara at gwalior